Firing off a sea of arrows has never looked so beautiful. <laughs> Mega Max here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make emissive textures, kind of like glow in the dark textures. So they don't quite emit light, but they glow. And it really looks nice. These are some basic ones that you can download in a couple packs. I've recreated my own because I was trying to figure it out, and now I'm going to show you how to. It's very simple. So let's move on with it. First thing you need to do, you need to add your pack.mc meta so that way it recognizes the pack. Just have it laid out like this with 6 for 1.16 description uh, glowing table then we go into assets minecraft the thing that makes it all work is in this optifine folder emissive properties or emissive dot properties then it should just say suffix dot emissive equals underscore e and that will activate the emissive textures then all you have to do is go into your favorite block that you want to modify I'm just gonna do a crafting table right now the top of it so that way the grid glows easy enough way to show you then just pull it up in your favorite editor and then since these are the parts that we want to be glowing we want to just get rid of everything else because it'll try and make everything that's on this texture glow so There we go. You don't have to put all the extras and everything in. I just didn't want it to be a flat color. Then you just want to save it or export it. When you save it, you're going to want to have an underscore E at the end of it. That underscore E is what tells it that it's an emissive texture. So now when we put this crafting table top underscore E in here, that uh, let's get rid of this one first since that's the basic texture. Since now this is here, it will just overlay this on top of it. So let's load it up in Minecraft and let's see. There we go glowing crafter let's see and look at that it does kind of look odd because I chose blue and the rest of it is still brown but I mean if you look from even far away you can definitely see that it's just like the redstone that I have set up and everything and the ores you can make any texture glow just by doing simply that there's a lot of things you can do with these like for example here's a bow I made where it starts glowing more as you pull it and then a glowing projectile I mean who doesn't want glowing arrows I also made them into more laser-ish looking things <laughs> the best I could firing off a sea of arrows has never looked so beautiful <laughs> this is what emissive textures can do for you but you need optifine you can just straight up make glow-in-the-dark drawings with arrows if they never despawned oh no they're starting to despawn I almost made a full face oh so close it keeps trying to do no Yes, there are lots of incredibly fun things you can do with emissive textures. I like having all of my redstone emissive as well, so that way you can just kind of see it glowing in the night. For heavy, intensive redstone contraptions, it looks beautiful. I feel like I need to upload a video on how to make a texture pack as well in the first place, because that would probably help a lot of people who are just trying to figure it out, rather than just diving into the deep end, which this isn't really that complicated. This is a nice little beginner way to try and get into these kind of things. Hope you all have a great night, day, whatever it is over there. I shall see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody.